Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I've got a video for you on my wife's 1986 Chevy C30 crew cab dually that we've been building over the last few months. And a while back, I was underneath this thing, poking around, doing just a scan, inspection on this thing, and I found something that is extremely dangerous. In fact, I know people that uh, have not been very lucky running into the same issue, and, you know, causing accidents and stuff. This thing, at this moment, in my mind, is very dangerous to be driving. So, we've putted it around a little bit, but we've been extremely careful. I've got to fix that, and I've got to fix it now, because Elizabeth wants this thing done. So, let me share with you the issue that this truck has that is so bad, I wouldn't really want anyone out on the road in it right now. So in case you didn't know, the way that these big truck wheels are adapted to a truck like this is by a hub adapter. We've got a big 10 lug adapter that goes to the 8 lug, like the Chevrolet pattern. So that's all it is, it's just a big heavy adapter with a bunch of uh, studs on it. So you can see that big hub adapter, so it adapts from the 8 lug to the 10 lug. And it's just a big 3 quarter inch steel plate, that's all it is. It's, they machined this thing extremely good, I'm very impressed with the tolerances of it. This thing is, it just wedges up on there when you tighten those down. I was going to pull off both wheels at the same time, but they're super heavy, and I just decided we'll pull them off from this, and then if I need to pull the adapter off I can, but really I just need good access that's all all right so let's slide under here and i'll show you what's so wrong with this truck and that light is not agreeing with the flame frame rate of my camera really nice light though sent to me by a viewer it takes the same batteries all my other dewalt tools take so if you look at the leaf spring pretty rusty now overall this truck's not all that bad really it's rust colored but everything's still structurally sound chassis looks really good you know, it does need a set of shocks. So we've got a broken leaf spring here. We've got a broken leaf spring here. We've got what looks at like a starting crack there. And that's not a huge deal, really, because these run out into nothing. They're just load bearing springs. And if those broke off, it really wouldn't cause you to run off the road or anything. But if you look at this leaf right here, it's completely broken off. And that happens to be the main leaf that runs up to the eyelet and connects this rear axle to the truck. Now, it's not an immediate failure thing unless you were to hit a huge pothole and then break off these almost rusted half and two or more U-bolts, and GM in their infinite wisdom put them down in these pockets that hold dirt, salt, and debris. So, not good. These have rust jacked, and that's when rust gets in between the leaves, expands, and it puts so much pressure on them. You know, it just breaks them and then the rust messes with the surface of a spring and over time, you know, those surface imperfections cause cracks to start and then there you go. So, really bad. Let me show you the other side. It's even worse. It's even cracked through the center there. It wouldn't take much for either of these U-bolts to give away and then the broken springs and, you know, on and on and on and this axle just to shift. You're driving down the road, pulling a trailer or hitting a big bump and you'd be in big trouble. So there's the other side. You can see how the rust has just got in between these and just started spreading them apart. And that's a lot of force on those springs. And it uh, looks like we've got a couple cracked leaves up there. I mean, once I get these off, we'll see if they fall apart or not. But they're not in good shape. And these U-bolts on this side are even worse than the other side. They're extremely thin down in there. Not good. 
So what I'm going to try to do is one side at a time. Whether that'll work, I'm not, I'm not really sure or not. But that's what I'm going to try to do. So this rear end doesn't just shift around on me and I don't have it completely loose. So hopefully the bolts will come out. I did soak them down with some crawl uh, you know, several days ago. So maybe if we get lucky, they'll come loose and won't fight us. Because that's my main concern is getting these uh, leaf spring bolts out of the leaf springs because they go through a metal bushing and they're likely to be seized from my experience. But we'll see. turning so that's a good sign but get a wrench down in there ain't got any stubby uh, wrenches so I'll have to make one I could probably just angle this one Check out the new bolts. Uh, the worst one's probably about in its thinnest, I'm guessing, pencil, maybe a quarter of an inch from five eighths. So, this one wasn't too bad, but these two were. Take that. So obviously there's our new leaf springs. Here's the one I just pulled off. Check this out. This is where it was hooked to the back of the chassis. The only thing holding this leaf even in is this, uh, this saddle or strap. Now, if this front would broke, you know, it could have shifted. This could could have you know spit out probably wouldn't but
home. She's just using me for a home. I think she likes me. Do you like good me? At acting. Is she? <laughs> I think she likes me. She's a good actor. Oh, don't hit your head, little girl. So raise your hand in the comments if you've ever dealt with a frozen bolt in a leaf spring hanger. Oh man, you talk about talk about a nightmare to sometimes get out. So now it's on to the other side, and I'm curious to see, is this side as broke, broke as bad as the other side? I don't think so, but it's still not in very good shape. And when I get this leaf out and it relaxes, I'll really, really be able to tell how badly broken uh, it is, because I do believe that there are two leafs on this pack that are broke and could be far more than that. This side's not good as well. So let's talk about these wheels for a second. For one, they are extremely heavy. They're heavier than, much heavier than the uh, factory wheels. Uh, at least they feel like they are to me. And do they add anything to the truck? Well, yeah, they give it a custom look. I will, I will give them that. We, we didn't pick them up because, you know, we just wanted a wheel. We picked them up because I think that they look good and Elizabeth likes them as well. And really that's all that matters. It's a personal taste thing. They probably will reduce my fuel economy on this truck, which is really wasn't gonna be good no matter what you did. They're also probably gonna reduce the ride quality over a much taller uh, sidewall. But when's the last time you asked a girl why she wore high heels and she told you because they're comfortable? You don't wear high heels because they're comfortable, right? At least I don't. I don't wear high heels at all, but if I did, it wouldn't be for comfort. get this wheel off uh i don't know if there's much you can do really i'm just it'll come off i just gotta get it kicked to the outside no i got lug nuts on it enough to keep it from flopping off yeah
I just fell out of the front. <laughs> That's good. And you cannot beat these adjustable pry bars. This makes something so easy. So sometimes changing leaf springs can kind of be a pain because the axle will shift. There's a lot of weight there. And there's a pin on the bottom of the leaf spring that actually the bolt that holds the whole pack together has a stud on the bottom of it that goes into the, the foot or the base where the leaf spring sets. And that's what keeps your rear axle from being able to shift on this leaf spring pack. That and obviously the, the tension of your, of your U-bolts. What I found is a ratchet strap you know, you could pull it forward or back, depending on which way your axle will shift, and then a jack to get the rear end up and seat that pin into the, into the base. That's what I did, and that's what the strap's doing, and the jack is just keeping them sandwiched together before I can get the bolts in. Luckily, I bought the wrong U-bolts. Uh, not intentionally. Uh, these are three and a half inches, or, yeah, three and a half inches wide. These are two and a half inch wide leaf springs, so they're, they're too wide for these. Uh, quite a bit, but because I got to move this truck, I just decided that, uh, you know, they'll have to work until I can, until my other ones come in, in another day. So this truck's not getting driven with these, but I do have to get it together to get it out of the shop. So thankfully I bought the wrong ones. So I'm gonna stick these in there and just, uh, just hold it all together. And then I can change the U-bolts out one at a time easily with this thing together like it is. That's the plan anyway. So just so you know, I'm not going to show myself tightening and torquing these. Tightening and torquing. Torquing these because they're the wrong ones. But you get the idea. I knew exactly the right U-bolts that I needed, but the listing uh, down at the bottom, you could scroll through what I thought was just different lengths of the same bolt. Actually, uh, the width changed in those uh, different offerings as well, which I wasn't smart enough to, uh, to look that closely. So, my mistake. So these leaf springs were actually worse than I thought, and I figured they would be once I get them, got them apart. 
the bolt and the U bolts from just holding them together. Uh, we got a Wi Fi connection, like the main reason we changed these on uh, this one, and another Wi Fi connection there. And these are not far from breaking in all sorts of places. They're thick and thin and rust jacked and all sorts of crazy. Uh, this one's broken, and you know, too, as well. So, pretty much, they're junk. That's what I'm trying to say. You may want to look at your vehicle. You may not. You may just want to say, hey, they're probably good. But I did scan my eyes across seats and I noticed that they were bad and I just wouldn't feel right, um, you know, getting me, my family, or even amongst other people's families out on the road and something happened and then there we'd be. I knew it was a problem, but I didn't address it. So glad to get this taken care of before it caused me any problems at all. And I kept these two top leafs, which are, I don't know if they're, they're not necessarily overflow, overflow, overload leafs, I don't guess, but uh, because I'm going to lower the truck a bit, I took those top leafs off because they'll interfere, but I am going to keep them just in case I want to put that truck back uh, exactly the way I found it. So there we go. Glad to get these nasty, junky things off that truck and make it a bit safer. So boom, there you go. Fresh leaf springs installed. Actually, they're not fresh now. This is a couple months later. I'm actually wearing a jacket. And when I was originally filming this, I was burning up with a fan on. I lost the end footage, so I figured I'll redo it now and post this video instead of just not sharing this at all. So there you go. Um, what I did is I installed leaf springs, torqued down the U-bolts, drove it for a few hundred miles, and retorqued them. And in my case, it was needed because everything's going to compress a little more, you know, maybe a little bolt stretchage, whatever. Everything relaxes, gets in position, then uh, hit them again. And it needed it, so it did that. So they're good and tight now. The uh, truck does ride quieter now that the leaves are, are new in the back and no more squeaking or scrubbing noise. So I'm really happy with that. You can see I've got the exhaust, which was just at the mufflers. Now it's ran all the way back and out. I did finish that. You know, maybe sprayed a little bit of black spray paint since uh, since I shot this video, but that's pretty much it. And I am done underneath of this truck, basically, other than maybe spraying a little protective coating on the frame. But other than that, I am happy with the way that this thing turned out, and I feel a ton better knowing that the rear axle's actually properly connected to the frame of this truck now. I'm not going to cause us any problems. So that went pretty good, I'd have to say. Nothing gave me much trouble. Bolts came out like they should. The only the hardest part was just getting the old leaves out as far as physically moving them out and then putting the new ones in position. Other than that, you know, about as straightforward as a job can be. I'm glad to get new leaf springs on it. Now all I gotta do is get the right U-bolts under here and get them torqued. And this truck will be safe to drive on the road. That, those were in bad shape, real bad shape. That and the U-bolts.